Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Christian with Reaper Disc, and today we're going to be taking a look at my review of the Discraft Vulture. So the Vulture is a 10-speed control driver, being moderately overstable from Discraft, coming in with flight numbers of 11502. That actually is pretty accurate, uh, especially being confirmed after my testing. So the Vulture is an older mold in the Discraft lineup, been around for a while, and a lot of people have, you know, come to really like throwing this disc for one really specific reason. It's controllable distance. And that is something that a lot of discs strive to do, especially in that kind of hybrid area between a true fairway driver and a true distance driver. A lot of those 9 and 10 speed discs kind of get lopped in the middle somewhere and most of the time just get labeled as a distance driver uh, when in reality I think there needs to be a little more of a division there and a subcategory of control driver. These types of discs are made to still get good distance, but be very controllable. Kind of that good, happy medium between the distance of a distance driver and the controllability and placement of a fairway driver. And honestly, after my experience with the Vulture, after throwing it in the past, and after my testing for this video, I can confirm that the Vulture falls really well into this category of having good, controllable distance. Now the Vulture has a slightly wider rim than most other drivers have, but it's not obnoxious. It's not going to be as wide as like a big mid-range or something like that, like a wide diameter mid. Uh, but if you set them up side by side with another driver, it, you are going to notice it is just a little bit wider. But all in all, it doesn't really affect too much. And unless you're side by side comparing them, most of the time you won't even really be able to tell. So let's get into the testing of this disc. When I started off throwing this disc on Heiser, it had a nice slow flip up the flat, rode straight for a decent majority of the flight, and then started as it slowed down to have that nice, good, consistent finish. It didn't really dump out of the air, but it didn't have a very shallow Heiser either. It had that good, moderate, but still somewhat strong finish to it that you know, goes to show that, you know, this is going to be still a good moderately overstable disc that you can still rely upon. When thrown flat, this disc stayed flat for uh, about three quarters of the flight. It had a good amount of glide pushing it forward until it finally started to slow down and that low speed stability started to kick in. At that point, it started to have the same hyzer that it did from the initial hyzer release when it started slowing down. Good, strong, consistent fading at the end of the flight. Now, when I released this on Anheuser, this was actually a really, really fun shot to do. I got this up and, you know, as is typical with my Anheuser releases, I'm imagining trying to get around a very large obstacle. So when I threw the Vulture up, it actually maintained the Anheuser for the entire way up all the way through the apex and about halfway down the descent, at which point it did start trying to flatten back out and flex. Instead of getting all the way to flat and then having a flex fading finish, though, it did just decide to pan the entire time. So instead of, like I said, having that flex back to the left, it got to flat but panned all the way back over to the right. When this disc hit the ground, it was still moving left to right and still flat, so it had no ground play at all. It just hit and stuck where it hit. Now, when I released this full power, this thing flipped up to flat and rode straight for a good long while. And honestly, side by side, the shot shape itself looked very similar to my earlier Heiser release. It flipped up to flat, rode straight, except the power release getting that extra little bit of speed on it helped it flip up and maintain that straight flight for a little bit longer. But after that, they're virtually identical with that same good reliable fade at the end of the flight. Now, all in all, this is a really, really good choice for that controlled distance driver, you know, category or slot that you might be looking to fill in your bag. 
It has enough stability to be able to be predictable and reliable in windy conditions, and it can hold up to a fairly good amount of torque and power. However, it's also straight enough to still be able to get some pretty good distance out on the course as well. You're not going to sacrifice a lot of distance for that, uh, you know, accuracy and control, but you're also not sacrificing a ton of accuracy and control for distance. Realistically, you're kind of getting the best of both worlds and only having to give up a little bit of each. Really, this thing lands kind of in that Goldilocks zone of being able to get decently good distance. As far as most courses are considered, this is going to be a really good distance driver uh, choice, but still be extremely controllable. I think that most any player can utilize this disc. If you don't throw fast, it's going to be a very good, overstable, reliable driver. And if you throw really hard, you're still going to be able to control it because it's not going to get super flippy on you. Now, it goes to note, I was testing this in Big Z plastic, but after throwing the Vulture and other plastics as well, I've you know, come to know that this is just the flight of the disc and the plastic blends didn't really affect the different... Uh, you know, disc in the flights that much. There were minor differences, but all in all, it had the same flight pretty well across the board. The Vulture can hold almost any angle that you put it on, whether that be a, a big hyzer or just a giant tall Anheuser. Uh, if you're looking for something to kind of come in on a sharp angle or something that's going to pan on an ante for a long time, all you have to do is adjust your release angle and this disc will do the rest. If you ask me, this is a disc that checks all the boxes for that good controllable distance driver. If you want one for yourself, that way you can see just how easy it is to control and still get distance, click the link in the description of this video to head over to reaperdisc.com, that way you can get one for yourself. Drop us a comment and let me know what you guys think of the Vulture. It's been around for a while and a lot of people have used it, so there's a lot of opinions floating out around out there. I want to hear yours. So, drop a comment and let me know. While you're at it, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and ring that notification bell. That way you guys are the first to know anytime we drop new content. Follow us on social media at Reaper Discs. That way you can keep up with all of our restocks, exclusive drops, and just anything else we're, you know, putting out in the social media world. You'll thank me later. Again, I'm Christian with Reaper Discs, and I'll see you guys in the next video.